Hi Jez here, I'm gonna show you the personal development survey that we've created for UHQ. We made it with the independent school inspection team. Um, so hopefully it's gonna really help you look at what your students feel like they're developing in personally away from the wellbeing. So this pops up automatically at the end of every half term. So it's important to note that when you log in as a teacher, if you have administrator access, if you go to my school and term dates, just make sure your term dates in here are correct because that will determine when this survey pops up. So it's preset to pop up automatically on the last week of your half term. So the first time a student logs in during that last week of your half term, this personal development survey will pop up. It's a 10 question survey and it's scored exactly the same as the Who5. So students are asked questions that they score either at no time, all the time, or somewhere in between. So hopefully they're used to that now with the Who5 coming up every, coming up every two weeks. And it asks them things that either look specifically at their overall personal development, how they think they're, they're starting to grow as a person, or it will look at self-reflection on things they can control. So that's things like effort, organization, and attitude. So the questions, they don't know whether the questions are specifically looking at personal development or the self-reflection side, but the first one says, I've been able to deal with difficult situations. That's definitely part of personal development, something that inspection teams are looking at how do you teach students that so we're asking them to reflect on that so difficult situations personal development I've worked hard in my lessons effort more than self-reflection and you can go through it It says I've understood how to improve in my academic and extracurricular work I've communicated well with staff so it goes personal development and then self-reflection trying new challenges showing an excellent attitude felt confident about decisions made in and out of the classroom being well organized made decisions that impact on my overall well-being and overall achieving to the best of my ability. So it, it goes, it alternates from one to the other. They fill those out as accurately as they can. They always have the chance to rather not say, although we encourage students to try and get involved and be open, and then they submit that. You can then analyse that data by going through, logging on to the teacher area, and then on your taskbar at the top, you can see next to wellbeing, there's a personal development tab. And if I go there, I can see my students and it automatically splits it into two scores, a personal development score and a self-reflection score. So if this top student was a real student, they would be somewhere in the middle in terms of how they perceive their growth overall as a person, decisions that they're making, how they're coping with challenges, but they're really quite low in terms of their effort, organization, attitude. So that just gives you some additional information there to go along with their wellbeing data and the values and goals they might be setting. We're hoping this is gonna help you just get to know that individual student a little bit better. It might help you write your reports as well, especially if they're reflecting on effort, organization, and attitude. And if you look at the survey results, you can see the answers that they're giving. So if this student has said at no time, then they've not communicated with staff well at all, then they're saying they don't think they communicate well with staff. And then you or someone at the school might be able to help that student improve their communication with staff. Okay, so that's the idea here. Um, I'll click off that, just a couple of other bits. You can check in with the student just like you can on the wellbeing area if you're checking in specifically on their personal development. You can filter by personal development scores, so it brings the top scores up to the top, and then you can go back and filter by alphabetical order, or you can just look at specific classes just like you can with wellbeing, so you can start filtering this data through. Hopefully that helps. If you've got any questions, then pop over to our website, go to Let's Chat, or if you have our email addresses, just ping us an email. But apart from that, thanks very much. Look after yourselves. See you soon.